Hello students. Now let's continue the lesson. The boy who sold wisdom. So now, what happened in the last session? Let's see. Now Nag, uh, ba, Babu, sorry, the Gupta, Gupta, the rich merchant. Gupta, when he saw the sheet of paper that his son bought from Nagendra, he became very angry. He became very angry that he thought that Nagendra had cheated his foolish son by giving just a piece of paper and something nonsense was written on it. So he got angry. He went to Nagendra's shop to get back his nickel coin. Just he asked Nagendra to give his nickel coin back. Then Nagendra said, now give me back my money. Then I will give you your nickel coin. Nagendra said, no, you have not given me, given me back my wisdom. You have now Gupta returned the piece of, threw the piece of paper to Nagendra. Then Nagendra said, no, you have not given me back my wisdom. So he thought he would just return the piece of paper. But Nagendra asked, it's not just the piece of paper I have asked you. I have asked you to give me back my wisdom. You have only returned the paper. If you want your money back, you will have to sign a document saying that, your son will never use my advice and that he will always stand and watch people fighting. What does it, he mean? Nagendra meant that the wisdom what he wrote was sold by him. So the wisdom what I wrote on it that would be returned back to me. That means the wisdom, what was the wisdom? He had said that it is not wise to keep uh, watching two people uh, quarreling and that now he should not listen to my advice you should sign a document you should sign a document saying that your son will never listen to my advice and that he would always stand and watch two people fighting so this was the wisdom he got back now the passers by supported nagendra and every people there they supported nagendra so gupta readily signed the document and took his money back he was happy that it had been easy to undo his son's foolish bargain. So he was happy. Gupta was happy that so, so easily this problem has been solved. Now, a few days passed. The king of that land had two queens who hated each other. So did their mates. The king of that land had two queens. They hated each other always. And also their maids also. They also hated each other. They quarreled as bitterly as their mistresses. And they also quarreled with their, like their mistresses. One day, what happened? Each queen sent her maid to the market. Each queen sent her each maid to the market. As they were enemies, the maids went to the same shop. Same shop and both wanted to buy the same pumpkin. So they went to a vegetable shop and there was only one pumpkin. They both wanted the same pumpkin. There was only one pumpkin, so they began to quarrel. Their abuses and gestures were so fierce that the grocer fled the place. How they quarreled means, now, they say, no, when the two women uh, meet, uh, meet, they'll just quarrel. So there was only for, for the same pumpkin, they began to quarrel. Their abuses and gestures were so fierce, they were, they were verbal attacks and the grocer fled the place. So he could not control their fighting and he also left the place. Babu, who happened to be nearby. Then Babu was just passing by there. Remembered his father's contract with Nagendra. What was the contract he signed? He had signed. Gupta had signed. He has to watch. He should not hear, listen to Nagendra's advice. And he has to watch two people fighting. So as, the, as per that agreement, Nagendra huh, went there to watch the quarrel. Now Babu went there to watch the quarrel. The maids fought, tore each other's hair and came to blows and they were just blowing one of the other. One of the maids noticed the merchant's son and said, you be my witness. She struck me. Now she had struck me. Look at that. I have not struck her. She had struck me. Now you be the witness. Each of them, the other maid cried, you have seen with your own eyes who struck home. You are my witness. Now, each of the maids wanted him to be her witness. Now, 
let's see what happens next now these are the difficult words and meanings that we com came across in this lesson so far errands a short journey to get something for somebody wares goods or items sold hawking offering goods for sale by shouting furious angry stormed rushing very fast fierce aggressiveness so note down all these difficult words we'll continue in the next class thank you